Hello, Herman here with another video and in this video we will be doing a live network upgrade of my wireless uh, lab network with AruOS 8.x and uh, we are upgrading from 8.1.0.2 to the recently uh, released 8.1.0.3 and the live network upgrade for those who don't know uh, what it will do it will use the uh, new uh, clustering technology in Aruba 8.x and it will allow you to gradually upgrade the network components so the controllers and the access points and yeah by doing it in a controlled way clients will not experience any downtime so the network will be available for all clients at all time so let's get started so this is my mobility master and as you can see i uh, have two controllers on my mobility master and four access points and i already upgraded my mobility master to the new version 8103 you can do that with the local file option so you can independently upgrade your mobility master and uh, from the mobility master when it's upgraded we can upgrade the cluster afterwards so let's have a look at the cluster so here you can see my cluster is up and running it's uh, having two cluster members, which are 7,005 controllers, so not the fastest. And that will uh, mean that uh, later in this video, we will speed up the stuff a bit so uh, you can see what's happening. So to kick off a live upgrade, we go uh, in the group to the services. There we have our cluster definition. Uh, we can see again the... Uh, devices and uh, by pressing uh, that button we can kick off a cluster upgrade so we select the cluster that we want to upgrade and after we selected the cluster to upgrade we need to uh, define where the mobility devices can get their image from and I have a lab server which is FTP so we put the root in there the FTP uh, details and then we need to put in the version numbering and the version numbering it's the last part so it's the version plus the build number that is in the file name so then we select in which partition we want to upgrade and yeah it's convenient to use the alternate partition so if there is something wrong you can quickly go back to the old partition which is the existing firmware so this will kick off the cluster upgrade and um, after about a minute we can see the status of the cluster upgrade in progress and uh, here we can see and uh, I will speed up the whole uh, video right now uh, about 20x so um, you will see the time going very quickly. Uh, but first step is that it will copy the image to the second uh, to the first controller. You can see uh, the copy is successfully. Now it's rebooting the first controller uh, while it has all the APs on the second controller, and uh, you can see that the APs are still not in progress, so they're still running on the original second controller so you can see the second controller has all the uh, APs um, in the top you can see uh, there's one controller down and that's because it's rebooting so the second controller is up again and again this is a 20x speed up so things will go fast you can now see that it's preloading the first AP from the four that I have and uh, after it has uh, preloaded the image it will do a restart of that AP and the AP will come back to the first controller which is already running the new firmware release so now you can see it has a upgrade success um, still have two access points on the old controllers and I have now two on the new controllers with the new firmware you can see it's doing a third AP and it will automatically make sure that you have still coverage in uh, the area so it will do it uh, yeah ap by ap or maybe two ap's if you have enough coverage uh, and it will make sure that it is uh, doing the upgrade uh, like that and now you can see all the ap's have been upgraded uh, we can see the second controller is now rebooting so on the top you can see there is one controller down one controller up so when the controller returns 
the whole clustering will be restored so both the APs and the users will be balanced again over the controllers. So this was a live upgrade and uh, in the meantime I had a client connected to the network and yeah, it didn't even notice that there was an upgrade going on. So it is a very nice feature in uh, the high demanding networks which cannot go down uh, at the moment. So I hope you like this video. If so, please press the like button, put your comments below and subscribe to our channel. And thank you very much for watching.